Todd's Carpet and Tile Cleaning. Call or text 702-595-0488. In this week's court report, William Paul Spangler is currently out on a $5,000 active bond after that high school teacher is arrested for what is said to be an attempted sexual relationship with a student. However, formal charges are still pending for the suspect who is accused of committing that act back in November. Spangler had a first appearance proceeding scheduled in justice court back in late November, but he posted bail before his first appearance. Notably, the Department of Education is already inquiring about the defendant's next court date. Spangler has an arraignment hearing scheduled in justice court later this month on January 21st. And he was arrested almost exactly a year ago for battery and assault on a Valley Electric Association security officer. And now Brad Leonard Selbeck is also accused of domestic battery, battery on a protected person, and resisting a public officer who had to taser Selbeck. His arrest for those charges was made back in September after officers were dispatched to a home on Saddleback Road for a domestic violence call. Selbeck's live-in girlfriend says he was acting crazy, that he had been drinking, and that it was so bad that his own brother left the house. Officers searched and found Selbeck out back hiding behind a large bush, and they say the suspect demonstrated symptoms of being under the influence of alcohol. While in that state, Selbeck's girlfriend says he put his hand over her mouth so that she could not breathe and tried to choke her with her own arm. She also says he put his hand on her throat and held her down on the floor. Officers observed bruising on that victim that supports that statement. Officers also say Selbeck admitted that he pushed the woman, but when one officer pulled out his handcuffs and reached to secure the suspect's right hand, Selbeck pulled away from the officer, who then grabbed his taser and turned it on. That's when Selbeck swung at the officer, hitting the officer in the head, which knocked his hat to the ground. The officer says he discharged his taser, but with little effect. So the officer discharged a second set of probes, which were somewhat effective, although Selbeck still continued to resist and fight. Finally, officers removed the probes from Selbeck's stomach, then arrested him. Notably, there is no information for this domestic battery incident listed yet in Justice Court's files. However, notably, Selbeck faced the charges of battery simple, assault, and unlawful trespass of land for his January 2019 arrest. That next month, Selbeck pleaded guilty to counts one and two. Count three, trespassing, was dismissed. Selbeck received 15 days in jail with credit for time served and 90 days in NCDC suspended for one year, as long as he has no further adverse contact with law enforcement, which he did. Selbeck has a justice court hearing for that previous case scheduled in March and a status hearing for completion this April. This has been your court report. I'm Yunette Gentry for News 25.